Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris as the Shell. Now, uh, as you might notice, a lot of time has passed in the game and that is because, as I mentioned in the last episode, the game has become slightly unplayable because of the very long save times. Um, it isn't clear to me if that is because I'm playing Iron Man or because I have over 100 planets colonized at the moment. Um, however, I will probably be starting a new series because this is not very smooth and uh, probably annoying to some of you. However, in the meantime, I did let the game run for several years and built up my fleet to the first limit and a little bit over it. And now we're going to challenge the Fallen Empire to a last brawl of this particular playthrough. So I'll show you my ships first. And uh, now we do have hyper shields. However, I didn't have time to put them on the ships, so they mostly have one level lower. I did put them on aggressive and gave them devastator torpedoes, which are level three torpedoes, very very powerful. Oh, empty! I did not realize this. This did they just add it? I mean, the game did patch just before I started it. Now, ship mounted. Nanobot cloud. Cool. Can I do that? That's better than regenerative hull tissue. I just noticed this. I probably should have noticed this earlier. Maybe it was here all the time. Maybe it wasn't. However, uh, yeah, I certainly do like the thing. I think I would be doing uh, this ship mounted nanobot cloud. And all of our ships would be repairing themselves constantly. Let's add that and auto-complete the ship. As you can see, it did scrap some of the shields. I will... Uh, actually, I can keep the armor. It doesn't really matter that much. Although, what if I do that like this? Okay, this is a better design. Oh, crap. Just cleared my design. Crap. <laughs> okay, oh, uh, it was a simple one. Ship on the subspace snare. Oh, that's that's actually pretty cool. But I wanted this one. It keeps clearing my nanobot cloud. Um, oh yes, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Let's not save the design. We already have our ships. Unfortunately, I couldn't up upgrade them to the newest design because that would take literally years, even if I spread them across many space worlds, because this is around a hundred. Battle cruisers. Well, technically it's 90 battle cruisers, 9 cruisers, 5 destroyers and 97 corvettes. I think this is a sufficient fleet to challenge the Fallen Empire. Most of them uh, most of them are designed like this. So it's a level 3 plasma thruster and uh, advanced shield instead of a hyper one. Those are the two technologies that I have researched since. But uh, yeah, I didn't really have time to upgrade them. In the meantime, actually... In the meantime, we were attacked by the red thing here, the Taxon Stellar Hierarchy. Uh, but it was such a difference in power that I just, you know, I just beat them and vassalized them, not showing it to you guys because it could have been quite boring. Uh, we were so much more powerful. So, I have decided to bring this assault army and several science ships with our main fleet. And I have given them an admiral that increases fire rate. And I think we are ready to declare war on the Fallen Empire. Let's do it. Declare war. And I'm actually going to take their planets, as many as I can. Okay, uh, I guess I can leave one. Because I did have a look at the war score cost beforehand. Let's just take everything that we can. Give me everything. And I will be left with one planet. Unfortunately, I think they don't have ring worlds. Which is very unfortunate. I... I was hoping for ring worlds because they're so very, very good. But I might be wrong here. We'll see. Uh, I don't know much about fallen empires. Maybe they don't all have ring worlds. Anyway, it is time to declare war. Also, I'll show you one more thing. It says our fleet power is equivalent. So I am hoping for a good fight. Uh, I should have declared rivalry, actually. Mm, doesn't matter. So, here we go. Mother, cradle, brother. Actually, this might be a ring world. Akalam, this is Akalam. Never mind. Guys, go. Let's go to normal speed. Yeah, I just 
Yeah, you go, the rest are, were supposed to follow you, right? I hope I selected it right. Okay, let's see what they have in the system. They don't have much. This is a regular, regular planet with a regular spaceport. Let me have a look at the planet. Surface. Oh, they do have Fallen Empire buildings. Agri Processing Complex. Uh, oh, right. Let's get back to our fleet. Now, remember that you guys are supposed to follow this fleet. And wait for the science ships to jump in. Yeah, I did click the wrong thing. You guys are just supposed to follow this fleet. Well, this fleet is supposed to engage the enemy. I wonder what their main fleet will look like. Okay, here we go, guys. Currently winding up from warp. I have decked them out with super heavy torpedoes. Well, not super heavy, large torpedoes. Actually, I might want to go to slow because of the fleet management. Battle takes such a long time to process. However, mm, no, no, this is actually saving. That's why it stopped. Yeah, we're losing energy. I hope it won't be a big problem. I don't remember what being out of energy does. Do I get less morale from ships? Oh, just building them takes longer. Okay, what weapons are you using? Okay, they just hit us with some long-range lasers. Hostile fleet engaged. Wait a minute, do I have you in defensive? You guys should be moving forwards and attacking. Hostile fleet engaged. Battleship, I have you on aggressive, okay. And the corvettes are moving in, corvettes are being destroyed. First torpedoes away. Come on, come on. What is that? An alliance? Who wants an alliance? Okay, this is this is not going to be a problem because we're going to destroy their spaceports rather easily, I believe. And uh, the problem is going to come when their whole fleet is here. As you can see, the torpedoes are hitting and not doing much damage. But finally, the battleships are actually starting to fire because the corvettes moved in and started firing while the battleships were left behind. I guess I'm fine with that. Simula simulating large battles like this takes so much resources. So, uh, especially with actually, especially with the transport ships following, I should have left them in a different system. Yeah, I think I should. Let's let's get the transport fleet back. Uh, let's get the transport fleet back here. Oh, I can't because it's in battle. Okay, transport ship, transport ship, transport ship. I think I'm actually going to retreat them just to make this faster. They will take a little bit of power. I'm just retreating the transport ships. Situation log updated. Station <laughs> under attack. Okay, so now station under attack. Really? What station? Okay, and this is why I brought the science ships. You will immediately research the debris for me. Because there might be some unique science alien technologies. No science ship, don't be under attack. Situation yeah, as you can see, the starport did not offer much resistance. And the fleet is not coming right now, so... How's my transport fleet? It did, it did take a little bit of damage. Energy credits for minerals. Yes! Happily. Okay, another science ship. Go research this place. Okay, so actually I will... I should probably attack their planet. Because I don't know if the fleet will be coming or not. The transport fleet does need to come back here. Probably should not have done emergency FTL. I was desperate to speed it up. Uh, right, you guys are gonna enter orbit and then attack while our main fleet bombards the planet. 
Just bombard it with all that you've got. Although, I don't want to destroy buildings. No, just bombard it normally. The buildings are very valuable. Okay, let's have a look at the buildings. What is that? Dark Matter Power Plant. Hmm. Long since technology long since lost to the ages. Autonomous fabricators. This is the power plant, and what is this? Show me. Also, I want a ring world. As you can see, the game runs very slowly for me, and that is. Well, one of two things, either because of uh, the over-colonization that I did, or the Iron Man mode. Planetary capital. That's just normal building. They're intelligent, non-adaptive, and weak. You're right. The transport fleet is coming. I'll just order the transport fleet to land its armies. And I will send the main fleet onwards. To the next next system where we might or might not find the enemy fleet okay there is a defense base here but I don't think we need to worry about it okay wonder what they will find in the debris Okay, let's have a look at the battle that is going to take place on the planet. Yeah, still taking a little bit of time. The fortifications are gone, so we shouldn't have uh, much trouble winning this, especially with so many troops. Just an overwhelming attack. That is why the ground forces modifiers like being weak don't really matter that much. Evading hostile fleet. Evading hostile fleet? Whoa, what? Oh, you guys shouldn't have that order. You should be evading. You should be passive. That's the idea. Okay, now you're passive. Where's the hostile fleet? <gasps> the enemy has arrived. Attack. Only 17k? Seriously? I have 144k and they have 17k. Did I overestimate the power of the Fallen Empire, or is it just, you know, is it just trying to confuse me with the low numbers, uh, even though they would be so very powerful? Chance to hit, plus 6. Military station health, plus 25%. Oh, those are battle cruisers. Hull points, armor, shields. It's not that good. Oh, and they jumped away. Seriously. Okay, guys, go to the second system now. Oh, we're actually chasing the, the fleet. Um, I guess I am fine with that, but let's attack the system so we can clear uh, the path for our landing forces. Debris analyzed. I wonder what technologies we have found in it. Tachyon lances, neutronium materials, physics research, zero points power. Yeah, all good. Any of them quite interesting? Not really. Well, neutronium materials is actually the highest level of uh, armor, I believe, and we did get that without going through the lower levels of armor. Anyway, let's just continue our previous research, which was ship hull points. How's the ground forces fight? Oh, we did win already. Okay, embark all. Let's have a look at the planet. They are very unhappy right now. I wonder if they will try to retake the planet. Um, I think we said that uh, fallen empires will not build fleets. So maybe they will not build armies either? Oh, what's that? Crap, they came back. Now that I have already moved out. Although, if they don't have um, armies, they can't land on the planet, so I'll just move away from here to the next system and we should be okay. Although I do wonder how many fleets like this they have. They're trying to jump away currently. 
Okay, let's look at the Star Hunters. Not much here, just a regular system with regular uh, spaceports. No, it's just an outpost. Uh, do you have a planet for me to conquer? Yes, and there is there is a fleet here also. 10k fleet of... What is this? Escort. Capability Jump Drive. Which one is Jump Drive? Is that some some other one unique to the Fallen Empire? Maybe. Maybe it's like wormhole, but doesn't require wormhole stations. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, now you guys can actually start attacking. It will again take some time. What if I go too slow? At least it looks a bit smoother, and the speed is comparable. Okay, there is a science ship following us. The shields are holding. Oh, that did some damage actually. You can't send that many torpedoes. So torpedoes completely bypass shields, which is their main strength. Come on, come on. I want to face a massive fleet. Maybe I really overestimated the power I needed for the Fallen Empire. This is going very smoothly so far. Although when we assaulted the Ring World in the multiplayer, it was very, very tough. Maybe this is just a crappier Fallen Empire than then. Come on, guys, move. All right, saving. Go on, go on. I wish I could un -iron man the game. Maybe there's an option, but I don't know it. If there is one, then we could just continue this campaign. Maybe get some endgame disasters, like an invasion from outside the galaxy or something. Oh, it doesn't seem like there's such an option. Let's go to fast for now, because yeah, we can get fast while they're actually just traveling. Hostile fleet engaged. And the slowdown will only happen in combat and while saving. I wonder if we'll get another trade deal for energy for minerals. I'd love to sell my minerals for energy. Come on. Alright, it's saving again. Yeah, I I honestly cannot recommend Iron Man and Stellaris. I mean, it's fun early on, because I generally like playing Iron Man, and you want your achievements, right? But at this level of uh, developed um, huge galaxy, uh, you will you will experience some updated. slowdown on saving. Situation log updated. Why are you attacking this planet? This is a barren world. Why are you doing this? Doesn't make sense. Attacking an empty planet. Maybe there's some outposts I don't know about or something. Or maybe when they get there, they will change their mind and do something else. Yes, they did. Good. Oh, and our Admiral gained a level, which is wonderful. Ship upkeep is decreasing. That is actually going to save us a lot of energy. Yeah, they should actually make short work of that fleet... Hostile fleet I am a little bit underwhelmed. I believed it was going to be super difficult, but they're actually doing quite well. M maybe when we reach the capital there will be a 100k fleet or something. We already have 17% of the war. It still says their fleet power Hostile is equivalent to our own, so they should at least have 100,000. Where is that 100,000? Torpedoes for the win. Okay. They are doing some damage to us now, especially the small corvettes. But they are here mostly as a screen to protect the battleships, and because I didn't want to scrap them, I have to build more, more new ships. Alright, uh, first battleship taking heavy damage. Come on, come on. 
Let's go down to normal speed. It'll look a bit better. Okay, once our torpedoes reach them, they're dead. But before our torpedoes reach them, they can deal some damage with their lasers because they're very long range. However, we haven't sustained any major losses yet. Those are battleships, right? Avatar class. Battle cruiser. Battle cruiser. Mine are battleships, not battle cruisers. Are those better? Although they are dying quite easily. But then again, I have around a hundred battleships. For well, those of you that liked the series, um, even though there was the slowdown lately, and you will be happy to know I will be starting another one in Stellaris. Probably not Iron Man and probably on a bit smaller map so we don't experience the same problems again. I'll probably go with standard and aim for real late game, like super late game crisis, and I think I'll go with... Um, some sort of Gene Sadel Maniacs race. Okay, you guys... No, you guys actually take care of the planet and bombard it. And you guys land your... armies. There? Yeah, the, analyzing debris from a fire, fallen empire fight is... so very good. Actually, that reminds me, I should actually be doing that with those science ships. Research project. And was something earlier on? Yes, there was. Uh, research. Why can't I research? Oh, right, the leader died. Wait a minute, don't I have a free scientist? Mm, must have forgotten to take care of that ship. Though this ship doesn't have anything to do, so you can research this project. Uh, right. So once we bombard the planet, I can move on to their capital. Let's go on with the bombarding quickly. I really, I really thought they would be more of a challenge. That is why I built such a huge fleet. But if we can take them on, we can take anyone in the galaxy. So then that would mean we basically won. Come on, okay, this is done. Now you guys can move on to... Do we want the next planet or do we want to go directly to the capital? I think we want to go directly to the capital. And we did give orders to the transport fleet so they can manage on their own. Whew. But I think I will do the capital world battle in the next episode because uh, this one is already quite long, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video, even though it is a little bit, you know, low frame, but that will be fixed for the next series. So, thank you. I'll see you soon.